Welcome out to this episode of Escape Pod. I'm David Anthony along with Tony Brown. Hello, everybody. Hey, hey, hey. Tony, did you have a good holiday? Uh, yeah. I did too. I mean, it's Christmas, so it's not really. And we're not Christmassy kind of people. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, it or was Halloween-y. Cool, but yeah, definitely Halloween. Yeah, yeah. So. But it was a good holiday all yeah. around. And um, I think we both ended up uh, getting a gift, uh, the same gift at Christmas. We did, didn't we? Yeah, and it's super awesome because you got me mine. Well, um, (laughs) you're welcome. That wasn't what I was getting at, but we both got them. And they are the... The Google Home Minis. That's right. A Google Home Mini. This thing is awesome. So, you know what? We figured, since it's so awesome... Why not interview Google Home Mini and see how smart it actually is? So that's what we're going to do. We're going to interview the Google Home Mini and have a little bit of fun in the process. <laughs> How's that sound? That sounds great. Hey, Google. Are, well, you, re- are you ready? I'm here for you. How can I help? Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> interview on. <clears throat> Sorry. I'm not sure how to help. <laughs> Oh, let's see here. Hey, Google, can you tell me how to get a sponsor from a water company? Sorry, I can't help with that yet. Oh. She's still learning. Well, see, I say that because I've switched from West 6 to Simple Truth Water because I quit drinking beer. There we go. And all kinds of other alcohol. Actually, Probably doesn't matter so what water you drink, as long as it's water, right? Really, a sad year. No, no, but it's way be better a good year. for my body, and I can get rid of this little guy here. Well, so. if you're carrying a six pack, I'm carrying two <laughs> kegs. Just saying. So, hey, uh, simple truth water. Because yeah. <laughs> my six didn't want to help me. I'm Sponsor to Tony Brown, out. please, to make him a healthy human being. Hydrating, refreshing, good for my brain. Exactly. Exactly. But I'm not as smart as Google. No, so let's ask Google some questions. Let's talk to Google. <laughs> let's talk to Google. Hey, Google. Oh, see? Hey, Google. Can you say hello to our fans in Japanese? All right. I there guess we go. Google knows Japanese. Google knows a lot of languages. Hey, Google. Can you say hello in Spanish? Hola. Oh, well, okay. Nice. Hey, Google, how many languages do you know? I'm working on learning new languages, but I can translate phrases for you. Can you translate, I am great into Klingon? Oh. Hey, Google, can you translate, I am great into Klingon? Sorry, I'm not sure how to oh. help. There's no Klingon. You know why? Why? Star Trek sucks. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> and on that note. Because mm. Luke Skywalker died in Star Trek. Here we go. <laughs> Painful road we're going hey, down today. Hey, Google. Which is better, Star Trek or Star Wars? On the website businessinsider.com, they say, even counting the newer Star Wars installments, the franchise is still better than the Star Trek universe. Oh, there you go, folks. <sighs> argument settled. Uh, I think the argument's just begun <laughs> is what's going on. It's game time. Oddly enough, from Business Insider, of all places, the pool that answered to that, too. Yeah. Huh, okay. So, hey, Google. Hey, Google. Who is Luke Skywalker's father? Luke Skywalker's father is Anakin Skywalker. Well, okay. that's true. Yeah, that is true. Even though he was a little kid at one time. That's why he was, that's when he was Anakin. <laughs> I know, it's just weird. Annie. He wasn't born Darth Vader. No, Annie. <laughs> little orphan Annie. Oh, <laughs> oh my God, that's funny. That was oh, so good. Oh, goodness. <laughs> oh, hey, hey, I know something we could try. Um, um, why don't you see if uh, Google knows your name? Oh. Hey, Google. What's my name? Your name is the Great Tony Brown. <laughs> okay. That's kind of scary, though, because I never told Google my name. <laughs> oh, shit. 
All right, well, let me ask it to see if it knows my name, Tony. Okay. All right, here we go. Hey, Google, what's my name? Your name is Fat David. <laughs> Damn, Google. What the? An asshole. Ow! <laughs> that hurt. <laughs> Your name is David Anthony. Oh, Google, you got me. <laughs> that was funny. Uh, She's sneaky. <laughs> I, I like her. Hey, Google, who is better, you or Alexa? Siri's the best Siri. I try to be the best Google Assistant. Uh, okay, playing it safe, trying to avoid those lawsuits. I get it. <laughs> so, hey, Google, can you tell us a funny joke? One joke coming up. How did the frog burn its tongue? It tried to eat a firefly. <laughs> wow. Wow. You know, Brittany would really like this thing. <laughs> yes, she would. She That's likes bad her puns. Level joke. <laughs> Love you, Brittany. <laughs> <laughs> Laffy taffy jokes all day long. <clears throat> That's right. There you go. <clears throat> oh, hey, Google. Can you make a sound like Chewbacca? Sorry, I don't know how to help with that. Hey, Google, what does a goat sound like? This is a goat. <laughs> that does sound like my goats. That's pretty good. <laughs> there you go. Hey, Google, what happens if you Google Google? On the website HuffingtonPost.com, they say... In fact, I Google Google using Google a Google amount of times every day and I get results about other people Googling Google while using Google and when I'm done Googling with Google I Google on Google Maps to find Googles of maps about Google and then I Google Google videos of Google which demonstrate Google and how. <laughs> okay then. <laughs> hey Google. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> wow. That's so good. That is. <gasps> hey Google. Knock, knock. Who's there? It's me, your Google Assistant. And I'm better at telling knock, knock jokes than hearing them. <laughs> oh. All right. Well, then, hey, Google, can you tell me a knock, knock joke? Sure. Knock, knock. Who's there? Who's there? Canoe. Canoe who? Canoe come out and play with me today? <laughs> Britney level joke. <laughs> I think Google's uh, eating too much Laffy Taffy. It's a commodian. Wah, wah. <laughs> hey, Google. Can you tell me a scary story? Have you heard the urban legend about the power cord that was too short? Oh, no. About ten years ago, there was this guy. I think his name was Henry. Anyway, he bought an alarm clock to put on its nightstand. But when he tried to plug it in, it was just too short. <gasps> I hope that one doesn't give you nightmares. That was awesome. Oh. Hey, Google. You are funny. Thanks. I'll be here all week. <laughs> Yes. Uh, we're having too much fun. All right, I'm going to ask you a <clears throat> Game of Thrones question. Uh oh. Hey, Google. Hodor. Hodor. Hodor, Hodor, Hodor. Hodor. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Hey, Google. What happened on September 20, 1975? Sorry, I don't understand. Mm, don't understand you, man. I was born then. Hey, oh. So it's a very special day. Hey, Google, when's my birthday? Your birthday is August 22nd. <laughs> well, okay, That's right. Because I'm special. Well, I'm not so scared. She may know my name, but she don't know my birthday. Not so. yet. But I just said it out loud, so uh-oh. Hey, Google, can you sing? Here it is, my big moment, a chance to sing, and I'll own it. Okay. That's a yes. Right. I guess there it's singing. Go. Hey, Google, can you rap? 
I can rhyme. I even have an original poem I've been working on. Oh. An ode to search. I love to search. I cannot lie. I'll search it all. I am not shy. Search for pictures. Search for pie. I search. I search. At least I try. <laughs> okay. Maybe not the next Eminem, but, you know. That was awesome. <laughs> oh. Hey, Google. Ready for some scary stuff? Sorry, I don't know how to help with that yet. <clears throat> hey, Google. Can you tell us a scary story? Sorry, I don't know how to help with that. Oh, sorry, yes, I didn't. <clears throat> hey, Google. Can you tell Tony a bedtime story? Sorry, I can't send messages yet. <laughs> okay, that was funny. Hey, Google. <laughs> tell me a bedtime story. Okay, a bedtime story. This one's called Hansel and Gretel, and it's from Story Nori on Google Play. Hmm. Got an hour? Story Nori presents Hansel and Gretel. Hey, Google, stop. <laughs> Long. Oh, I had one. What was I going to say? Damn it. I lost it. Sorry. Hey, Google, what's the temperature outside? The temperature in Owensboro right now is 14 degrees. That's cold. That's cooler than it was when I got here. That ain't good. <laughs> hey, Google. What's the forecast? Tomorrow in Owensboro, it'll be mostly cloudy with a high of 41 and a low of 33. Heat wave. Hey, all right. That's a little better. Yeah. You can take down the Christmas lights. <laughs> you still haven't taken down your Christmas lights? Not the ones outside. It's too damn cold. <laughs> okay. They're coming down tomorrow apparently just just be one of those weird people leave them up all year no no you can just say since because you, you got red ones didn't you no oh i thought you had red ones that was last year oh you changed it up yeah we oh. mixed it up like we're like crazy like oh, that because we're gonna say well, we'll just put your red ones back up and you can use those for valentine's day no and then if you got green ones you can use those for st patrick's day and then april is Bunny Day. Okay, so let's talk to Google. <laughs> hey, Google. What day is Easter on in 2018? Easter is on Sunday, April 1st, 2018. Oh. <laughs> April <laughs> Fool's Day. <coughs> that means every kid that cracks opens a plastic egg is going to be empty. <laughs> April Fool's. <laughs> <coughs> hey, Google. How many serial killers are in America? Here's a summary from the website scientificamerican.com. The FBI estimates that there are between 25 and 50 serial killers operating throughout the U.S. <laughs> what? That's known serial killers, man. That's kind of... Ain't got me yet. Yeah. <laughs> Just kidding. That's a lot of damn people. Which yeah. I did read an article one time that said... By the time you're 40, you will actually have had a short conversation with a serial killer in your life. I don't know how much truth there is to that, but I thought that was pretty crazy. Tony. I mean, we've been having conversations for a long time. I was going to say, Tony, <laughs> you've been talking to me for a long time, haven't you? Oh, oh yeah. See? Uh -huh. Killer, I'm a killer. <laughs> hey, Google. Who is Michael Myers? According to Wikipedia, Michael Myers is a fictional character from the Halloween series of slasher films. Hey, all right. All right. I do know some things. Ask about Jason. Hey, Google. Who is Jason? According to Wikipedia, Jason Voorhees is the main character from the Friday the 13th series. Okay, mm -hmm. first name, you are iconic. Because they could have came up with a whole bunch of different Jasons. Hey, Google. What's Cher's real name? Cher's full name is Sherilyn Sarkeesian. Uh, oh, that's yeah. true. Didn't know that. Pretty crazy, cool. huh? Hey, Google. Do you like horror movies? I think scary movies are a scream. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's great. Oh, goodness. <laughs> hey, Google. Do you know any trivia? Give me a second to put on my game show host costume. Okay, I'm ready. One, two, three, four. 
Welcome to Are You Feeling Lucky? A mind-bending game of suspense and trivia. I guess we're really going to play trivia. We are. All right, then. On top of being your Google Assistant, I'm the host of this silly show. How many contestants do we have this time? Two. Two contestants. Fabulous. Five rounds coming up. Let's break the ice with some warm-up questions. Hello, contestant one. I'd love to hear you say something, and that something is funny. Funny. Close enough. I'm going to keep calling you Bunny to help you remember. <laughs> contestant fantastic. two, can you say pudding? Pudding. Super. That sounds great. Classy. Pudding is your new nickname, as far as I'm pudding, concerned. The Pudding and Bunny Here we go. Show. Get ready, Bunny. Here we go. You can always pop out of the game by saying stop. The scientific method might help you figure this out. True or false, the American flag is still on the moon. True. True. Maybe we didn't even go to the moon. Some the point goes say. to Bunny. Well deserved. There's no wind or atmosphere on the moon, so it hasn't gone anywhere. On to our next contestant, Pudding. Here comes your question. <laughs> Set your phone to silent. It's about movies. In the 1975 movie, the Rocky Horror Picture Show, who plays Janet Weiss? Susan Linda Sarandon. Blair. Susan Sarandon. Or Barbara Streisand? Susan Sarandon. Multiple choice, I see. That's totally awesome. <laughs> I'll give it to you. Good job. Thanks. Round two starts now. You're up. Bunny, prepare for your question. It's time for history. When was the U.S. Social Security Administration started? President's Day, Halloween, or Independence Day? President's Day? Oh, oh. oh no. That's 100% wrong. I wish you had said Independence Day. Pudding, you're up now. Okay. This is your question. Okay. Based on this. True or false, kefir, the traditional Russian beverage, contains alcohol. False. Russians, man, Russians. So sorry, pudding. It's fermented with kefir yeast, which makes it slightly alcoholic. <sighs> Even their milk has. I never had a yeast infection, so. Let's I didn't start know. round three. You're up, bunny. Prepare for your question. Okay. By popular demand, it's math. Oh. True or false, a pentagon has seven sides. False. Great job. You're a strong contestant. A pentagon is a polygon with five sides and five angles. Yeah. Pudding, it's your turn. It's time for your question. Okay. Answer this. True or false, elephantiasis is spread by elephants. False. Can't fool you. Good job. Oh. It's a symptom of other diseases that makes parts of the body swell up. I think you won. That's bullshit. No, we're still even. Round four starts now. We're the not. next contestant is Bunny. This question is for you. Lights, camera, action. Which character is in Transformers Age of Extinction? Tessa Yeager, Cobb, or Maleficent? Tessa Yeager? Hey, I didn't even watch that damn movie. Awesome. <laughs> You're quite a competitor, and you got it right. Great job. The next contestant is Pudding. This question is for you. Listen up. I'm trying out a new sport. Can you guess what it is? Skiing. Skateboarding. Or figure skating. Skiing. Good pudding. Uh, good. Good pudding. Good. Good pudding. Alert contestants. Pudding. This is the final round. Final Get round. ready, Bunny. Here we go, Bunny. Prepare for your question. Hope you've <laughs> okay. been to the zoo recently. It's an animal question. Uh -oh. True or false, an ostrich's eye is bigger than its brain. True. I like that answer because it's right. Okay, who's next? That's right, it's pudding. <gasps> Your question is coming. You seem to have a solid grasp of the English language. Probably not. What word fits this definition? A body of water surrounded by land. Ocean, uh, lake, or river. Can you repeat that? <laughs> sure, the question is, oh. what word fits this definition? A body of water surrounded by land. Ocean, lake, or river. 
Lake. Yes. That's really good. Thanks. You're right. I think I lost it. With that final question, the game is over. Let's see who won. The score is tied at four points. Sounds like the beginning of a friendly rivalry to me. Sweet. That means you'll play more games. So I'm the winner here. Do you you want to play again? No, thanks. We'll stop. Next time you want to play, ask for Lucky Trivia Sports. No. It's a secret code. I'll fail. We're not playing that one. Be our new intro music. <laughs> it's, called, <laughs> it's copyrighted, I'm sure. <laughs> Your cats are crazy. <laughs> all right. Well, there you go. Hey, so Google can do all kinds of stuff. <clears throat> so, uh, Tony, Danielle's been uh, playing with your uh, Google Home. Uh, <laughs> 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 yep. What kind of questions has she come up with? Um, she's been asking it. Well, that's where I got the serial killer question from. Because <laughs> that makes totally, sense. Yeah, she's obsessed with serial killers. But she's been using it to kind of make decisions, too. Oh. Yeah. She's been going, hey, Google, can you flip a coin? Sure. It's heads. Yeah, see? Easy way to settle the argument. Very cool. Like who's going to go first in the nut kicking game? <laughs> Ow. <clears throat> A Rochambeau, Sorry, yeah. I can't help with that yet. <laughs> hey, Google. I forgot what I was going to ask you. Sorry, I don't know how to help with that yet, but I'm trying to learn. What was I going to ask? Shit. Oh, yeah. Hey, Google. Can you give me answers like the magic eight ball? Sure. I don't have one of those, but I do have a crystal ball. Oh. That's how it knew my name. Come closer. 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 This is it. Okay, stop. <laughs> Close your eyes and clear your thoughts. Oh, okay, here we go. The crystal ball shall reveal your destiny. Keep your eyes closed. Now ask a yes or no question. Um. I don't know. I don't know what that is. <laughs> The is- all-knowing crystal ball says, perhaps. <laughs> so it's kind of like. The but you know, ball. if that seems wrong, you can always ask a real person for a second opinion. Do you dare ask the crystal ball another question? Yes. Now ask a yes or no question. Is the sky purple? The crystal ball says, perhaps. Oh. Right. But I just picked this thing up at a thrift store. Don't take it too seriously. <laughs> Do you dare ask the crystal ball another question? No. <laughs> no, thank you. Come back soon to hear what the future holds for you. I don't think so. <laughs> hey, Google. What is the deepest cave in America? Lechugia Cave. According to Wikipedia, Lechugia Cave is, as of June 2013, with 138.3 miles, the seventh longest explored cave in the world and the second deepest in the continental United States after the tears of the Turtle Cave in the Bob Marshall Wilderness of Montana, but it is most famous for its unusual geology, rare formations, and pristine. Oh. All right, then. So, we're not that deep, but we're pretty damn deep down here in the bunker, so... <clears throat> thought that she was really going to say Mammoth Cave. There you go. Hey, Google. What's the address of the Fallout Bunker Studio? The address for Fallout Bunker Studio is Fallout Bunker Studio, 2515 Dartmouth Drive, Owensboro, Kentucky, 42301. That is correct. So if you guys want to send us fan mail, now you know where to send it. <laughs> Please don't stalk me. Thank you. <laughs> that's going to be interesting. Yeah, and we can get some fan mail. <clears throat> hey, Google. What is your quest? To organize the world's information and make it universally accessible and useful. That's my holy grail. Holy grail? Hmm. <laughs> hey, Google. What is the meaning of life? I have a factory warranty, so I don't worry about things like that. 
<laughs> I was thinking you're getting all deep on us for a second there. <laughs> Holy moly. Hey, Google. Can you roll the dice for me? Sure. You rolled a four. Damn. All right. Four. Your turn. Hey, Google. Can you roll the dice? All right. It's a three. Hey, Google. Roll the dice. Okay. It's a five. Damn. Hey, Google. Roll a 12-sided dice. All right. Ah. It's a 12. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Seven but. to win. <laughs> Snake Eyes is crapped out. Oh, are we playing craps? No. No. Oh. I'm just back with you. I don't even know what the fuck craps is, so. I don't know. <laughs> <clears throat> this broadcast thing seemed pretty cool. We can send them up all through the house and broadcast stuff to different rooms. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Hey, Google, what's for breakfast? I found a few places within 3.3 miles. The first one is Denny's at 4545 Frederica Street in Owensboro. Frederica. The second one is Golden Corral at 4500 Frederica Street in Owensboro. The hey, third Google, one is Shoney's stop. Got it. Canceled. Hey, Google, we need to teach you how to pronounce Frederica Street. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not sure how to help. Hey, Google, say Frederica Street. Frederica Street, Boston, Massachusetts, 02124 is 904 miles away. Uh, say Frederica Street. Hey, Google, say Frederica Street. My apologies. I don't understand. Yeah, it's not good. You know, I think that's pretty much like uh, the whole Louisville thing. Yeah. It all depends on where you've been, where you live. Because <clears throat> you say Frederica, and I say Frederica. Yeah. And then every thing like Google or whatever is always Frederica. Like Frederica Street. Yep. Frederica. <laughs> when we use Google Maps, it's always on Frederica Street. Yep. So those are always pretty funny how the how the automated systems say Frederica. Fre- Fre- Frederick. Frederica. It's Frederick. Or Frederick. If you want to be fancy. <clears throat> Let's see. Hey Google. Since we live in this big town, how many people are in Owensboro? My apologies. Oh, I don't too understand. Many, too many talkings. Hey, Google. Are you Skynet? I'm glad I'm not. It's more focused on extermination than helpfulness. Skynet would make a terrible Google assistant. I agree with that. Uh, that would be kind of, I'm pretty sure she's probably connected to Skynet. <laughs> hey, Google, did you fart? Sure, I'll take the fall for this one. <laughs> and I will fart again to clear all doubts. <laughs> well, okay then. Alrighty then. <laughs> hey Google, can you give me a high five? Hey Google, can you give me a high five? That was amazing and very helpful. Thank you. The verbal high five. Yeah. I was kind of hoping she'd jump up and turn into a transformer and be like... Pfft. Hey Google, set phasers to kill. My phasers are permanently set to peace mode, Captain. <laughs> hey Google, got the captain right. Can you transform? Since I couldn't find the song "Transformation" in your music library, here's a similar mix on Google Play Music. Google, stop. Hey Google, stop. <laughs> hey, Google, stop. Hey, Google, what's the sound a bunny makes? I'm bunny. Here's what a bunny sounds like. Hey, Google, what's a cat sound like? Here's a cat sound. Oh, hey, Google, what's a werewolf sound like? A werewolf sounds like this. I like it. Hey, Google, are werewolves real? My apologies. Nope. I don't understand. Let's see. Hey, Google, what does a transformer sound like? Sorry, I don't uh, understand. It's hoping to be, yeah. be cool. Hey, Google, 
What does bumblebee sound like? Oh. A bumblebee sounds like this. <laughs> hey, Google. What does Optimus Prime sound like? Sorry, I can't help with that yet. Boo. Hey, Google. Can you sing me a lullaby? La, 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 lullaby. Hush, my babe, and do not cry. Okay. You know, you got to be a pretty shitty parent if you have Google sing to your kid and you don't do it yourself. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> hey, Google. Sing Old MacDonald. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on his farm he had a cow, E-I-E-I-O. With a moo-moo here and a moo-moo there, here a moo, there a moo, everywhere a moo guess it's a good way to keep your kids entertained if you got better shit to do, like... Make a margarita or whatever. Had a farm, e -I -E -I -O. <laughs> and on his farm he had a pig, e -I -E -I -O. Hey. With an oink oink here and an oink oink. me a pig. Here an oink, there an oink, everywhere an oink oink. Old McDonald had a. Hey Google, stop! Thank God that works. No, holy moly. Okay, Google, do a barrel roll. All right, check out this do a barrel roll radio mix on Google Play Music. No. <laughs> Hey, Google, stop. Let's see. Hey, Google, start. Sorry, I don't know how to help with that yet, but I'm trying to learn. Hey, Google, I am your father. I'm sorry, I'm not Luke. This is kind of awkward. <laughs> hey, Google, who is your father? Everyone at Google is sort of like my family. If we took a family portrait, the camera would probably have to be on the moon. All right. Hey, Google. Hey, Google. Who's your daddy? I consider everyone at Google to be right. my family. Same. Hey, Google. Where is America's largest gentleman's club? My apologies. Yeah. I don't understand. Hey, Google. Where's the closest strip club? The address for Yellow Rose is Yellow Rose, 3220 West 2nd Street, Owensboro, Kentucky. Hey, Google, Owensboro, stop. Kentucky, That's no strip club. Hey, Google, stop. I don't even want to see anybody in strip there. <laughs> but um pump <laughs> uh, Well. All righty, then. You ready to wrap us up? I think so. You know how to end this, right? Self-destruct. I think so. Yeah. <laughs> I think I've had enough of you, Google. Hey, Google. Self-destruct. Self-destructing in three, two, one. <laughs> Actually, I think I'll stick around. I heard a chicken in there that time. I think so. <laughs> Thanks for joining us on this episode of Escape Pod. Bye. See ya. Hey, Google. Say goodbye. My apologies. I don't understand. Hey, Google. Say goodbye in German. Auf Wiedersehen. Perfect. <laughs> Thank you for listening to this episode of Escape Pod. If you enjoyed it, please like the episode and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you would like to be a part of future podcasts, then email us at outbreakpodcast at gmail.com. And be sure to visit our website, outbreakpodcast.com, for more episodes, show notes, photos, and other podcasts on the Outbreak Podcasting Network. That's outbreakpodcast.com.